Hey guys, welcome to your third C# -sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be, we will be talking about data types. Um, this list right here is a list of every single data type or at least most of the data types available to you to use in C# -sharp. Now you may be looking at this list and thinking to yourself, oh crap, I'm never going to be able to remember all these. Well, you don't have to. Most of the data types you're going to be using are these ones right here. These eight data types, possibly seven because I'm not sure about object. I'm not really sure how to use it yet, but I don't want to not put it on the list and have it turn out that you're going to use it all the time. So I put it on the list anyways. So you don't really need to know about byte or s byte or this u short or short even most of the time u int u long um, any of these decimal you probably won't use much that's usually used um, when you're working with in like um, a financial financial application for invoices or something so I'm just gonna go ahead and start explaining these <clears throat> um, and then I'll show you how to declare them in int it stands for integer if you've ever been in math which I hope most of you have then if you haven't you're in trouble is um, it's a positive or negative number but it has to be a whole number there can be no decimal involved um, so that's that and then a long is basically the same thing as an integer except um, since it uses more memory in your computer it can store a larger number so what happens is if you have an int and you just keep adding to it once it gets to its maximum value it'll start over and go to the negative value the minimum value and then keep counting up and then it'll just go around in circles and the long does the same thing but it it'll go up to a higher number before going back down so that's how that works it just it's basically an int it just stores a large it can store a lar store a larger number um, float and double are both real numbers they have decimals in them um, Float is kind of tricky, and I'm going to have to go over that in a minute. Car, care, char, whatever. I usually call it a car, or a care, actually. And string um, store letters or words. Car only stores one letter, and then a string is defined on the Microsoft website as a string of characters. So basically, a string is just a bunch of characters slapped onto each other. Um, bool is short for boolean. Um, it was named after a guy named George Bool who created boolean algebra, which if some some of you might know about it, um, it's just a way of telling whether a um, a statement or a hypothesis evaluates to true or false. So boolean is just true or false. That's the only thing you can put that to. Um, and again, I like I said earlier, a minute ago object I don't know how to use it and I don't know how to declare it yet so I'm not gonna try to explain it but I put it on the list just in case you're gonna use it because I don't want to not put it on the list and then screw you guys over so I'm gonna start with int and long int x equals like five again you so first thing you do is um you put the name the data type name the variable name and you can call this whatever you want so I can call it Billy if I want to or Bill built Billy and equals five and that's it and it doesn't actually equal five when you declare a variable it creates a memory space in your computer to store the number that you want to put inside Billy so your computer says hey let's go make a little box so that we can and call it Billy so that we can store some numbers in here so you're gonna you got your little box that says Billy on the side and what this statement here says right here it says okay so Billy we're gonna put the number five in you for a little while and you're gonna store the value of the number five and so if I were to go down in later in my program and say Billy equals six then I would pull out the number five and then replace it with the value of the number six and when you change a, the value of a data type, no matter what kind it is, you don't use the data type um, name. You don't put int on it again. You just say Billy equals 5, 6, I mean. And so, so that's how you change the value. Um, okay, and long is the same thing. You just It just stores more values, like I said. 
So then you have float f equals 5.5f. You have to have the f on the end or else it won't compile and that's actually supposed to say f. Um, and then you have double. Float and double do the same thing but float requires an f on the end so um, and it doesn't do trailing zeros, so I, that's what I thought maybe the F was for, but I've already tested it out and it really doesn't do it. So, um, and if um, C Sharp is actually as close to Java as it was created to be, then you're going to be using double way more, if not all the time, rather than using float. But if it's um, like C or C++, because of the name C Sharp, I mean it's obviously supposed to be similar, then you'll probably be using float more, but since I haven't really known, um, figured out what the usual one for using real numbers is in C Sharp, I'm just going to go ahead and use double because Java is my main program, and I don't think I've ever used a float in Java before, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it from now on, even if I'm not supposed to. If any of you guys actually know any C Sharp or anything and know which one I'm supposed to use, then please tell me, and correct me if I'm wrong or just reassure me if I'm right. Um, the next one is car. Care. That's it's supposed to be a single quote. Shoot. Okay. And then string s equals equals string. Just call it string. Um, the way I remember which kind of quote to use for care is um, single letter, single quote. Easy way to remember it. And then a string can store more than one character. It can store as many as I want. I could come out here and type forever. And um, it uses double quotes because it can store more than one character, I guess, if that's how you want to remember it. I just remember the care one is single quote, single letter. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so let's, um, let me show you... Um, what you can actually do with these is like you're showing us how to make all these stuff, all this stuff, Ryan, but we don't know how to use it. Um, console.write line. Okay, so you know you can type something in here. Like I could come in here and do string, and it would print out string. Or I could come in here and do console.write line s. So what it's going to do is take the variable s and it's going to take what's stored in it and then print it out because you put it inside the right line statement. Console.readline. This is so it won't kill, uh, kick us out again. Um, so let's see. According to me, it's going to print out string and then it's going to print out string again. But I'm sure most of you can probably figure that out. So let's see if it works. String, string. There you go. Um, and you can do the same thing with an integer. If you do int s equals like 65, and then you want to type out 65, then it'll do the same thing. It'll print out the integer. There you go. You can do it with any kind of number, um, any kind of data type, I'm sorry. And uh, so, I'm going to show you guys some other stuff, in, uh, and I'm going to be talking about data types in the next couple tutorials, um, but this is all I want to show you for right now, so uh, I'll see you next time.